Next we have number three on the 10-7 worksheet and they want us to find the probability that there will be no defective bulbs in the sample. Uh, in this problem, uh, we have n being the total number of bulbs being produced and the random sample here is 20. So n total is 20. We're going to choose, instead of choosing the number of girls born, this R will represent the defective bulbs. And we're choosing for zero of them to be defective. So in this case, zero is R. For P, we don't need the probability for being a girl. We need the probability that the bulb will be defective. And they say that that's 2%, which is 0 0.02. Again, R is the number of defective bulbs, which should be zero. Q is the probability that the bulb will be fine. And that light bulb probability is 98%. If 2% are defective, 98 are normal, 98% that is. And if none of the 20 bulbs are defective, 20 of them would be fine. So we type all that in and we see the probability that we'll get uh, zero defective bulbs and you should get 0.668 rounded to the nearest thousandth. In B, what's the probability there will be exactly two defective bulbs? So again, in the formula here we changed girls to defective bulbs and we changed boys to normal bulbs. So in the next one, B, it's going to be total choose two defective times probability of being a defective light bulb to the number that we want times the probability of being okay to the number that are okay. And uh, that probability comes out to be 0 0.053. C is one of those problems where it says no more than two defective bulbs. Uh, that means the probability of two plus the probability of one plus the probability of zero defective bulbs. So we're going to have to calculate those three. Two of them we already know. We already calculated the probability that two bulbs would be defective. That was 0 0.053 plus some other number that I'm going to leave up to you to find plus the probability of zero bulbs being defective which we know is 0 0.668. So what you need to do is redo a or B, either one, and change the number of defective bulbs to 1, 1, and the normal bulbs to be 19. You should get a number here for the probability of 1, and then you add the three of them together, and your final answer should be 0 0.993.